Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today we are reacting to the latest League One casualty as Simon Grayson has left League One by mutual consent. His assistant manager David Dunn has also gone with him. This comes off the back of Fleetwood losing their last five games in all competitions. Only one win in 12 games and only three wins from their first 17 league games and conceding 16 in the last five games. A lot of issues at Fleetwood that do run a lot deeper than Simon Grace. We're going to get into that in this video. He did join the club um, in January last year, the end of January, and did pretty well. Kept us up, some good results, you know, away at Doncaster, at home to Ipswich, uh, away to Wimbledon, at home to Rochdale in there. But this season, it's not been acceptable, and. You know, we've always fought, you know, we've always gone like 2 0 down or, you know, 3 1 down, and we've fought back against, you know, good quality sides, against Wickham, against Sunderland, and MK Dons, we got a late point against. You know, rather than we were 2 1 down, we won 4 2. But it is the end of the road. When you're when you conceding as many goals as you are, the team last night, I was in Oxford, I've just literally woken up to the news. Um, I just said, when the players stop playing for a manager, which is awful, you have got to look at the players, you're doomed as a manager. And Grace said he wants to hear angry, you know, angry voices. A couple of them had a pop at each other, which, you know, it's good to see that they care, but we need to put it on the performances. And, you know, players like, you know, that we've got at the football club are good players, but yesterday we were very, very poor against a much changed Oxford side. But... I'll say one thing for Simon Grayson. I've said all along, I said I don't think anyone could come in and do a bigger job. Now that's me that's me going to be tested now. You know, my, my opinion going to you know the barrel now, is that going to be correct? I hope hopefully I'm wrong. I just look at our squad and you look at it, James Hill, uh, one of our best defenders, if not our best centre half, is out injured for six weeks. Jordan Rossiter, our club captain, was actually came down to the game yesterday, was out for six to seven weeks. You know, Joe Garner went off with a shoulder injury. Callum Camps has got a shoulder injury. Harrison Olgate's just come back. Shaden Morris has just come back. We are very thin on the ground. But, you know, the, the bones are creaking, if I'm honest with you. And, you know, the squad, in my opinion, isn't good enough. It needs serious reinforcements in January or we will go down. But, Simon Grayson this season, the results haven't been good enough. There's been obvious ways that he needed to change, like the formation, a back three. He was so stubborn with it. Three five two, you know, long ball, you know, balls down the side. It was the same tactic pretty much um, every game. Um, since he got a new his new deal, he played. I think he had twenty nine matches. He won six, uh, drew eleven, uh, lost twelve. So, you know, when you look at it like that. You know, 29 points from you know, 29 games, a point a game, which will keep you up. But we got a couple of good results to go back in the last year. And this year, we're well under that point uh, point a game. And, you know, the supporters have turned on him. It was toxic at Fleetwood, if I'm honest with you, where you, know, you didn't really want to go. And Because you know, Fleetwood are never normally like that. But Fleetwood had to you know, show the voice on this one, I feel. And I don't like seeing managers lose a the job. They never do. It's a tough reality of football. But when results are like that, it is going to be like that, unfortunately. And Simon Grayson has left. You know, we've got to move on. You know, we've got to thank him for his efforts. But those last few weeks, up until the last four games, I've always thought we've been in this. We've always fought. We've always been in it. And we've always taken teams right to the end. But yesterday, on Saturday, home to Morecambe, you know, a Lancashire did display we were poor we didn't lay a glove on them you know Morecambe were you know very well set up I didn't think they were amazing if I'm honest with you I didn't think Oxford were amazing yesterday but we just didn't lay, lay a glove we defended and we defended and obviously that's what resulted in his job and you know when you concede four to Accrington in the cup you know you, you lose to Ipswich and you know he comes out and says we're, we're kind of relying on luck at the moment he's just you've got to look at it Andy Pilly's always put the football club first will he get the right decision who will he go for? You look at, you know, Fleetwood's team, it's full of youth. And Andy Pilly wants to bring you through, at, you know, Pilfoot Farm, at Highbury. You've got a lot of good players there. James Hill, Jay Matete, um, you know, just being a couple of them. Jed Garner up front. You've got good loan players as well. 
who will they go for? Will they go for the under-23s coach? I've seen Chris Beach being uh, mentioned. Uh, Simon Wiles might be interested, you know, a bit further on in his career. Barry Nicholson has been named. He's not going to be a big name. He isn't going to be a big hitter. John Sheridan is also available, who has come into Fleetwood before, done a good job. I know Pilly said he would like to work with him again. Will he come in, um, you know, just to keep us up to the end of the year, get some reinforcements um, in January? But the football isn't going to be much better under a John Sheridan tight. And I don't really care about the football, if I'm, if I'm honest with you. I just want to stay in League One and, you know, be competitive. You know, you look at it, have they sacked him too early? I think... You've got to say when when the when you lose a dressing room and you lose players, you've got to get rid and you've got to change it. And and how much will it cost to cost how much will it cost to sack Grayson compared to go down to League Two? That is the biggest worry for me. Um but you I think you'd rather lose money on sacking the manager and stay in League One because the amount of teams that fill up that away end in you know in League One, so you know, Sunderland, Portsmouth, Ipswich is You've got Derby potentially coming down. You know, you've got seven or eight clubs that could easily sell out. Bolton, Wigan, Shelton. You know, they're in the mix as well. Great to pop. Plymouth, Oxford. Also, and they're not all going to go up or down. But the search for the manager goes on. And the next five games are against Wimbledon away, who are just above the relegation zone. Then you've got Bolton in the cup. Then you have got Akron and Stanley away. Lancashire Derby, just above the drop. You know, a poor defeat last night. They lost 4-0. Then you look at... Um, you've got Bolton at home again in the league. And then you've got Gillingham. So you're playing four of the teams just above the relegation zone in the next, you know, five games. And Bolton are just above that, you know, drop as well. Morecambe as well in that mix as well on the 18th of December, just before Christmas. Then... Fleetwood Sam plays Shrewsbury, who are also struggling. Then they go to two tough games over the New Year period, where they play Wigan and Sunderland. But it hasn't been good enough for a while. When you're conceding you know, nearly two goals a game, that is where your issues are at. You know, goals started to slow down, if I'm honest with you. When you're getting eight goals from fullback, you're not getting much from your strikers. I don't think Fleetwood offered very much other than the long ball into Morton yesterday, you look bright, or a couple of Jay Matete long direct runs. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see. But the early favourites, I'd say Chris Beach, John Sheridan, Barry Nicholson, um, and the Clint Hill will be in the, in the running, you know, because his name, but he won't come. He's just joined, you know, Stockport County. Um, but names, you know, there's a couple of under 23 coaches, I like the guy at Forest, um, you know, there's a couple of others. But this next appointment, I said after Uve, that was a big appointment in that. I think this is the biggest appointment Andy Pilly will ever make. Because it's not like we've got the funds to go out in January to go and buy players or go and bring some players in. We're relying on the loan market or the free transfer market, which is absolutely huge. And we've got to have a, player, a manager that can work with them and get results and get this team firing, get this small squad firing because it isn't a bad squad. It isn't, they're not bad players. You know, they are better than what they've shown. But it needs something, and maybe that a manager sacking, maybe just a switch up. Maybe Grayson's voice isn't being heard anymore. You know, if you listen to his interviews, it is pretty dire and drear. But I've literally woken up 20 minutes ago to this news, and I'm shell shocked at this. I thought he had the safest job in world football, if I'm honest with you, or even EFL football. And um, you know, he's not been at the club that long. He signed a new team deal on my birthday as well. So, you know, when you look at it, Fleetwood are the first club in that pretty much bottom four to, you know, switch this year. You know, there's, only, there's not been many sackings this year, only like, Charlton have switched as well. There's not been many as there at all that have, you know, parted company. And we're nearly halfway through the season, but again, Simon Grayson has lost his job. You know, just before Christmas, I bet he's, bet he's at home now licking his wounds, but he'll have a nice little Christmas payout um, for him. But I wish Simon all the best, you know. He was never any bad with me. I thought overall he did, you know, a decent job in the first half of Fleetwood clearing up Simon Grayson's mess, but it was time to go. And I didn't want to say, I don't like asking for anyone's manager's job. I just don't think that's my job. But it needed to happen. And in reality, it's hit that, you know, Fleetwood down to a League One club and we could be going down to League Two this year. And, you know, this is the most worried I've ever been. This is probably the most worried the owner's ever been. But these next few games are massive. We need to get over them. Hopefully, we'll replace him. You know, get a good get a good appointment in. But thank you very much 
for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, I will see you later. Again, thank you, Simon, but it's time to go.